<laughs> That's like Mau Mau. <laughs> That's a more appropriate. Thank you. Apothecary Diary Season 2 confirmed. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, we are back for the final episode of Apothecary Diaries, and I am so sad to have to say goodbye to Mau Mau Man. I saw this meme on the internet a couple days ago, and it was just like a picture of Batman, and he was holding on to Mau Mau and Free Ren and be like, please don't go, please, because <laughs> both of them are leaving us in the span of two days, at least for some time. It's so sad. It's been such a beautiful run. Apothecary Diaries was something I didn't even know I wanted to get into when I first heard about it airing. Um, it, I just didn't even think that I was going to end up enjoying it. I thought it was something there's no way I could possibly like it. Um, it, it was just going to be, you know, Chinese uh, apothecary girl. But it ended up being so much more. It ended up being perfect for me as a pharmacist to talk about certain things in the anime that we're watching together, as well as just enjoying Mau Mau's character, Jinshi's character, um, all of the, the side characters, including the concubines, the vertigris house girls, the Nachons, who are now forever going to be etched into my soul and in my brain, the, the sights of Pyrino Nachon and and Joka and and Mei Mei. Oh my God! I I didn't know I had wi that that many wives lined up for this show. I thought I was gonna have zero based off of Mau Mau being the you know flat chested girl that she is. But she also ended up being the one of the most cunning and amazing female main character leads that we've had in anime in a long time. And her whole backstory with Lock On and her mother ended up being so tragic. And Lock On ended up being after we saw the last episode not the bad guy that i thought he was he was it's just truly a tragedy for this family that they never got to be together and live together and love each other because of certain misunderstandings and bad communication and honestly things that weren't entirely all of their fault at the end of the day mau mau was still born so it's all, not all negative uh but it's still terrible that they never got to love each other and you know given her mom's late stage syphilis like she probably isn't gonna live for that much longer but it seems like Lock-On is going to have to buy her out and at least they'll have to like interact a little bit and maybe they'll live together for a little bit until she dies. And then we have to cherish that Lock-On and Mau Mau relationship after that. I'm really, really proud of Mau Mau for confronting her challenges with her father here and uh, taking them head on. And I just can't wait to see what happens in this final episode. Um, and yeah, it's going to be sad saying bye to Mau Mau and everybody, but... I just know that it's got to be getting a season two. There's no way that this show is not getting a season two. People absolutely love it in Japan. The ratings are super high. In the West, the ratings are super high. Everybody loves Mau Mau, and we got to get more. So hopefully you guys wanted to enjoy this reaction. Like the video if you do. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. really helps me out. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, and maybe we'll do another medical-related show in the future um, if we get another one. And, of course, if there's any kind of medical, drug-related, pharmacy-related things I can talk about in this episode, we will pause. But I have a feeling this one's going to be mainly character-focused going forward with Lock-On and uh, the mom and Mau Mau in this episode, probably. So we might not get it, but if we do, we'll try to teach you guys about something if I can. And leave a comment down below what you guys thought about Apothecary Diaries as a whole. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments. For me, easy 10 out of 10. I don't even have to finish this episode. I'll let you guys know right now. 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely loved it. Um, and if you want to support me even further, you can join as a member on YouTube. By the way, you'll get access to some of the videos out early right now. The ReZero videos out early on YouTube if you guys want to check those out. And you get access to the private Discord server. And you also get access to that if you join the Patreon. Links in the description below. And with that one, you get access to the uncut versions of these reactions. So that's a good way to support me if you guys want to do that. If not, appreciate all the time you guys spent with me on Apothecary Diaries. Hopefully you learned something from me over this run of this season. Thank you so much for watching. Let's check out the final episode of Apothecary Diaries. Let's go. Feng Shen, the withered blue rose. He doesn't know she's still alive. Oh. The little bit of Mau Mau's finger then. Oh. Oh, oh wait, we're going to Chibi Lock on. <laughs> oh, the old lady. 
uh, and she's it was wasn't it kind of like implied that grandma is like functions real mom as well does she not recognize him or she just know that it's gonna be her a soccer pedal oh my god may may oh my god may may you know which one's may may you can pick from the lot there oh my lord <laughs> He's going to pay for function, isn't he? They all look like ghost tones. You can't see their face. Oh, my God. Well, she's got other things that pop out, huh? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> really? May May. Oh. Please go see your wife. Not your wife. Your, your love. She opens the door. Oh, she's singing this song. He's he knows that song. He knows. He knows it. Oh, he knows. A flower that retains its beauty even with withered. Oh. Guys, no way. Oh. No. He's gonna... She's been alive this whole time and he didn't know. He didn't know. Mom out set this up so perfectly. Oh, he cried. Oh, we saw their faces. I have to choose, don't I? It's going to be her. He's going to make it up to her for all this time. I knew it! <laughs> oh. He'll pay whatever it takes! He finally found out that she's still alive! This is exactly what Mau Mau wanted! Oh my god, Mei Mei, put those things away. I'm trying to focus right now. Ah. Oh. The go pieces! He sees her face. What? It's just this is that just the way he sees her? She definitely doesn't have that. Her syphilis went away. What the heck? I guess love cures syphilis too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, this is so old, so man. I think this is gonna make a lot of people cry, including myself. <laughs> oh, Mei Mei! <laughs> oh. 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 oh my gosh! They get to be together at last. <laughs> it's so good. But it's so, so tragic. I got to say, guys, that is the most tragic thing I've seen in a long time. But it's also so beautiful that at the, in the end, they do get to be together. Even if she doesn't know. Even if she doesn't really understand what's going on anymore because of her late stage syphilis. They are gonna. He gets to give her some love at the very end, and she gets to feel loved at the very end by him, and not. And, and even though it took so many years, they're finally back together, and that's something to almost cry over. <laughs> oh my gosh.
the wicked father daughter duo. <laughs> oh, oh, they're talking about them, Lulan. I forgot that was now. Is that the real Lolan, though? Okay. She looks tired. <laughs> we need to fatten her up right away. <laughs> Get her some food. <laughs> oh, she acts like her mother almost now. <laughs> That's true. That land that shot. Hey, yo. That's true. They had drugs for that back then. She decided that she was going to. I can't even speculate, like, what kind of drugs they would have. Nowadays, obviously, we use hormonal contraceptives to basically manipulate the uh, menstrual cycle so that way that a woman doesn't ovulate and doesn't go through menses um, to keep them from not from getting pregnant, right? And it's almost 99% effective. But I have no idea what kind of stuff they would have had back then. They probably had some kind of condoms back then. We I think we looked into that in previous episodes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. So she was planning it herself and you. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't even notice. You guys kept no noticing about, like, Mau Mau's hand, and I never even noticed it until now. Yep. The Propo Z Zagnasia, or whatever we talked about last time, or two, uh, two episodes ago. Mm, and the revelation that Luomen was his uncle. He can determine, oh, he can determine Mau Mau's and Lumen's. <laughs> hmm, a stud horse? Oh, he did. He understood it. I hope she finds out. She doesn't hate him. Oh. Yep. He helped out. He did. If looking back at it, he helped her get in. He does things on a whim. Gut feelings. He's got a knack for that. If, the, he was looking for that resurrection drug. <laughs> Jealousy. <laughs> the pout. She just wants that drug, man. We got that story with the. Uh, what was her name again? The lady who came back to life. Ain't over yet. Hey, he says that as a father. Oh. Oh, definitely. She's gonna. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. She didn't get bought out, though, did she? 
Whoa. She's got a beautiful dress lined up. Is she trying it on? She's going to practice dancing? Oh, Mau Mau. She is. She's got that full... Letting her hair down, too. She's got the full makeup going, too. Almost like that one episode at the beginning where she danced in the moonlight. That one girl. Oh. The music. Oh. Look at her go. She's so graceful. Mau Mau. Wow. Oh. Look at her go. She's so pretty. In the moonlight with the stars. Get it, girl. Wow. Look at her go. I swear to God, if Jinshi comes up and sees this, he's going to go nuts. <laughs> They're going all out for this dancing. She'll dance at Mei Mei's wedding. He did see it! Oh, wait, seriously? No, stop. <laughs> that was so dangerous. That scared the shit out of me. Oh my God. <laughs> A kind guard. <laughs> <laughs> Cow shoot! <laughs> At the house itself. Yeah. He's also leaving. Oh. It's, it's function, man. Oh. She's never seen in public. And they dance for her. It worked out perfectly for them, didn't it? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you didn't deny it! <laughs> I love the chibi, man. <laughs> she won't. She had to figure it out by herself? Because of her being born. Oh. The nightmare of her cutting off her pinky. Oh, it's all crooked. I guess I never noticed the difference. It didn't look that off to me. Exactly. It all worked out in the end. It's okay. But now all things can be made right with a lock on. It grows back. <laughs> Uh-oh, dude, it's still bleeding out. What the fuck? It's been like months. She's like not concerned at all. Dude, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna pick her up and carry her? Wow. Okay, Spider Man. The Chinese Spider Man. Oh. 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 <laughs> the second time. She doesn't remember the first time. 
Now it makes sense to slow walk. What? What? Uh. Whoa! Whoa, Mau Mau, what's going on here? She's getting a little romantic here. What are you doing? This is not like Mau Mau at all. I don't believe it. <laughs> That's like Mau Mau! <laughs> <laughs> That's a more appropriate. Thank you. <laughs> That's how we're supposed to end it. That was good. Oh. That's how it's supposed to go. Beautiful. Oh, we're not done yet. I thought that was going to end right there. Oh. Oh god. The cordyceps fungus. Mm. <laughs> they love Mau Mau there. Oh. Oh, the cat ears perked up. <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah, that smile at the end. Oh, next A. It's just begun, they said. Maybe it's not over. Oh. Season 2 production confirmed. Then we're getting a season 2. Apothecary Diary Season 2 confirmed! Let's go, guys! <laughs> I can't believe it! They told us at the end of the episode it's already been decided. I knew it was popular enough. Let's go! Mau Mau's journey continues! Let's go! And guys, I have spe something special for you. I just got notified. Somebody, one of my friends messaged me and told me there's already a trailer for Season 2 coming in... 2025 sometime so not this year but next year we'll get back to apothecary diaries let's check out the season two announcement trailer Ooh. it seems to just be the stuff from season one so far lolan Hmm. I can't read Japanese. I don't know what she's saying. It's just... Okay, it's what we saw at the end of the episode there. 2025, Season 2. Oh. There you have it. I'm so happy that we got that announcement at the end, man. I was about to start getting really sad because we're not going to have it for a while. But here it is, man. Season 2 is coming in 2025. What a beautiful show. I'm so glad that it popped off as much as it did in terms of popularity and that so many people enjoyed it alongside me. And hopefully you guys were able to learn something along the way with the you know drug facts that I could throw at you guys and the medical stuff. But... Outside of that, even if that wasn't even a factor at all in the show, it's it still would have been a great story with great characters. That's just how good it is, man. With uh, Mao Mao, Jinshi, and everybody, it just it's like it it's a good show first, and then it, it's got the apothecary pharmacist aspects as well. Um, I'm gonna miss it. It was really beautiful ending, honestly. It's, it was actually a pretty good spot to leave off on with Mao Mao dancing and practicing for whenever Mei Mei gets bought out. She was almost dancing because function got bought out by lock on and lock on you know going on vacation with her she doesn't have that much time left of course with as we know with the late stage syphilis so at least she gets to live out those last couple days with the man that she originally loved you love to see that and then of course 
just it went out in apothecary diaries fashion it went out in mau mau fashion with the mau mau baiting jinchi thinking she was gonna kiss him and then do you have the ox bazaar <laughs> That's the Mau Mau we low in love. I'm going to miss her so much. What a strong female lead main character. Loved her so much. And it just shows an easy 10 out of 10 for me. But let me know what you guys thought about Apothecary Diaries down in the comment section below. It's been a blast reacting to it for you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for checking out all of the videos. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next series that we do. Of course, we'll do season two when it comes back. And if any other shows come up that I find personally interesting alongside some kind of pharmacy aspect, I could potentially do a similar series in like that in the future. But we'll hold out and see what happens next. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been absolutely amazing. And of course, I just want to give a huge shout out to the Nakama tier subscribers and above on Patreon that make it all happen. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Hunter DeLupin, JMC, Woogie Zhang, Zenthon, Boning, Cory, Daichi, E. Hellstrom, Eric Barton, Erky506, Fireheart310, Hapoko, Jose Rafael Castor, Joseph Ariaga, Lucas Bull, Oreo, Salty Fries, Sean, Shorty, Tori, Vengeance Cookie, and Bridie Lee. Thank you all. That's going to do it for me for this one. I've been Zach, you've been you, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.